Do you ever wish you could have a life do-over, similar to a makeover or a house renovation? A chance to try something again with a different result? Try Again with Monique is a place where I will give you my take and also hear from you regarding the questions and challenges we all face in life. You will either be inspired to try life again, over and over again, or make some really good lemonade from those sour lemons. Either way, I got you. If at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique. Last week, I talked about gentleness and how we can use it to effectively interact with the people in our lives. Please go back and listen to episode 31 if you haven't already done so. I promise it will be worth your time. Today, I want to talk about faithfulness. Faithfulness means being steadfast in affection or allegiance, loyal, trustworthy, committed, reliable, unwavering. Faithfulness implies stability, steadiness, certainty, and permanence. Faithful people always follow through. They show up and they are consistent by being faithful to people or to a task. You teach people that you can be trusted and that you are dependable. I call people like that trusty rusties. You know what to expect from them. You can almost bet on them. They are going to show up. There's a biblical illustration about faithfulness in which a rich man who was going on a long trip left his servants with what are called talents, or in today's terminology, money. Many Bible scholars say that one talent of silver was valued at over a thousand dollars. So for the purpose of this story, I'm going to keep the math simple. So the rich man gave one servant five talents, or $5,000, a second servant two talents, or $2,000, and the third servant one talent, or $1,000. So the first servant traded and doubled his talents and ended up with $10,000. The second servant did the same and ended up with $4,000. However, the third servant dug a hole and buried his talents in the ground. So when the rich man returned to check on the status of his wealth, he was pleased with the first and second servants for doubling the talents they were given. And he told them, because you have been faithful over a few things, I will make you ruler over many things. He was, however, disappointed with the third servant because he hadn't done anything with what he had been given. Although this story is about money, there is a larger lesson to be learned here. Talents for you and I could be money, but they also could be time, energy, abilities, or entrusted responsibility. The question is, how are you handling what you have been given on earth to do? Do you realize your purpose? Do you complete assignments given to you? Do others consider you reliable? Are you maximizing who you are? your potential? Or are you like the third servant, burying your resources, gifts, and talents, and not growing them or using them? I want to encourage you to be a good and consistent steward of everything given to you, including your life and all that that entails, your money, your gifts, your relationships, your career, and so on. Don't bury what God has given you like the third servant did. Commit to yourself, commit to your life, and commit to those around you. Because if you choose to do nothing with what God has given you, you can't fulfill or maximize your purpose and you don't reap the harvest of the lives that were supposed to be touched by your faithfulness or the things that were supposed to be accomplished through you and through your life. You really cheat yourself and you cheat others by not doing so. Remember, you have to plant a seed to get a harvest, but you also have to go beyond the seed by being faithful to the process, uh, which involves caring for the soil so the seed can grow, watering, providing the necessary nutrients for growth, keeping pests away and guarding against anything that might prevent the growth of the seed, knowing when to gather your harvest and when to plant. You have to oversee the whole process to completion. That is where faithfulness comes in. Faithfulness will get you to the finish line. Even in stock market scenarios, you have to be patient and faithful to the process to make any money. You can't quit or start and then stop. You have to see the process through. You know, when you hear expressions like ride or die, I got your back or until death do us part, that's alluding to the faithfulness expressed interpersonally in relationships. 
Remember, faithfulness ultimately leads to trustworthiness. You trust people who always show up or who are consistent. You trust the words of consistently honest people. The servants of the rich man who uh, were good stewards of the money given to them were trusted to handle bigger responsibilities. Faithful over a few led to ruler of many. Because you have to be faithful first to receive the benefits of faithfulness. For instance, if you can't be trusted, you know, to handle $1,000 responsibly, then you won't do any better with $10,000 or $100,000 or a million dollars. Some want to win the lottery and think it will solve all of their financial problems. Believe it or not, statistics show that 70% of lottery winners end up broke within seven years and a third go on to declare bankruptcy, according to the National Endowment for Financial Education. Some call it the lottery curse for that reason. Similarly, you will not likely get promoted on a job if you're not faithful to your current job and responsibilities. So while you're believing for or seeking more in and for your life, don't forget to be found faithful in your current life station. That will take you further than any get rich quick scheme or shortcut will ever take you. I say to you, don't just take up space on earth. Show up in your relationships, show up in your endeavors and be faithful to both. Don't do the start and stop dance that never builds, accomplishes or finishes anything. You can't half show up for something or someone. It doesn't work. There is no such thing as a half boss or a half wife or a half husband or a half friend or a half mission or a half assignment. You have to fully show up. One of my favorite song lyrics um, is by an artist named Brandy who sings, You can't get to heaven half off the ground. Everybody knows almost doesn't count. Faithfulness is not a halfway mission. It is all in. It's a ride or die kind of mentality. Faithfulness is also a fruit of the spirit which is one of nine qualities that should be evident in the lives of followers of Jesus Christ. We should show faithfulness to God and to others and to our assignment on earth. Because life isn't always easy and it has, you know, many ups and downs, but faithfulness will see you through all of that and it will ultimately help you to win in life. Like the seed in the ground, you won't see growth at every stage, but if you're faithful to the process, you will eventually see a harvest. I want to leave you with this um, in closing. God has a purpose for your pain, a reason for your struggles, and a reward for your faithfulness. Bye for now. Thank you for taking the time to listen to Try Again with Monique. If you enjoyed today's episode, please take a moment to leave a review wherever you are listening. Please also remember to hit the subscribe button so you can be notified when new episodes are available. New episodes will be posted weekly. Please also like and follow us on Facebook. Try Again with Monique is a production of GM Associates released under Creative Common Attribution, non-commercial, no derivatives, 4.0 international license. Remember, if at first you don't succeed, try again with Monique.